The ending is one of the most important parts of any movie, so it's no surprise that directors have often wavered back and forth on what tone to end their films on. Even movies that would eventually become classics almost had significantly different endings that were originally planned. From boxing dramas to mafia epics, here are a few movies that almost had much happier endings. Rocky Balboa whether he wins by knockout or loses by split decision, Rocky Balboa almost always walks away from the ring with a smile on his face. As the man puts it himself, But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. At the end of Rocky Balboa, the Italian stallion loses in a split decision, but wins the respect of everyone watching the fight. However, there's an alternate ending in which the brawler bests his opponent, walking away with a razor-thin decision. Is it happier? Yeah, but it isn't Rocky. My Best Friend's Wedding After a series of mishaps and hijinks, Julia Roberts eventually gives up on romancing her best friend and spends the last moments of the movie dancing with another friend instead. In the original ending of My Best Friend's Wedding, Roberts finds a potential new boyfriend at her friend's wedding, but test audiences were confused by the sudden appearance of a new beau. Hi. I'm, uh, I'm Andy Connolly. We haven't met. Test audiences liked Rupert Everett just way too much. So he was able to make his triumphant return in the finale. You're gonna humiliate me, aren't you? Only if I can. Okay, just one thing. Stay away from me. <laughs> Easy Rider This seminal biker flick follows a bunch of laid-back hippies on a cross-country road trip right up until an incredibly violent ending. Right before the credits roll, we see the bikers lying dead on the road, with their motorcycles in flames. While director Dennis Hopper originally wanted the bikers to make it out alive, Writer Terry Southern told the Paris Review that he'd convinced the director that the dark ending was, quote, more or less mandatory for Easy Rider. You got a helmet? Oh, oh, I've got a helmet. <laughs> Why? Southern wanted to write, quote, an indictment of blue collar America, the people he thought were responsible for the Vietnam War. Message received. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. A prequel to A New Hope, Rogue One follows a group of resistance fighters who are able to steal the plans for the Death Star by sacrificing themselves in the process. However, in one of the early drafts of the screenplay, the ragtag group actually makes it out alive. Director Gareth Edwards explained to the Empire podcast, And it was just assumed by us that we couldn't do that, not, they're not going to let us do that. As it turned out, they actually could, and the result is one of the best sequences in Star Wars history. Chinatown. Working for a mysterious woman named Evelyn Mulray, Jake Gittes uncovers a massive fraud operation in Los Angeles. Worse, he finds out the father of Evelyn's child is actually Noah Cross, Evelyn's twisted father. It's pretty grim stuff, all capped off by a showdown in Chinatown where Evelyn is killed while Cross steals his daughter-granddaughter. Gittes stands in the middle of the street, defeated, as a colleague tells him, Chinatown. However, Robert Town's original screenplay would have had Gittes and Mulray murder Cross, allowing Evelyn and her daughter to finally escape his grasp. Director Roman Polanski, in a very dark place himself due to the recent murder of his wife, rewrote an ending where evil triumphs over good and added the famous line to create a grim, unforgettable ending. The Thing when a shape-shifting alien attacks an Antarctic research station, the crew must band together to fight this otherworldly foe that can look like anyone and anything. Who's human and who's a thing? That's the ultimate question posed by the thing's downer of a finale. The film ends with two men sharing a bottle of whiskey, freezing to death, and waiting to see who's really who. Editor Todd Ramsey was so worried about the ending that he persuaded Carpenter to film a backup, just in case they had to make a change later on. According to Ramsey, and Just shoot an ending that where we see that he survives. Kurt has been rescued and uh, is sitting in a kind of small office structure, and he's just had a blood test so that we know that he's not infected. Fortunately, Carpenter stuck to his guns, and the thing is now recognized as a classic, largely thanks to its ultra-ambiguous ending. The Godfather. 
After rising to the top of the Mafia mountain, Michael Corleone has truly lost his way, going so far as to murder his own brother-in-law, deny it to his wife, and close himself off from her in the most tragic door slam in cinematic history. Believe it or not, director Francis Ford Coppola actually shot an alternate ending. In this deleted scene, we see Kay visiting a church and lighting candles for Michael's soul, hoping there might be a chance her husband can be redeemed. But even though the ending was closer to Mario Puzo's novel, Coppola realized he'd already shot the perfect ending and left it there. Don't be afraid, Carlo. Come on, you think I make my sister a widow? The Fly David Cronenberg's The Fly follows Seth Brundle, a brilliant scientist who accidentally merges his body with the fly. The movie ends with Brundle completely mutated, finally killed by his pregnant girlfriend in a moment of tragic horror. However, Cronenberg actually considered going with several other endings. One possible ending has Veronica drifting off to sleep and dreaming that her future child will hatch from a chrysalis and fly away with butterfly wings. Thankfully, Cronenberg realized that after the tragic end of Brundle, audiences wouldn't be happy walking away with visions of butterfly children and stuck to his original ending. Oh, that's disgusting. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you love too.